Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am The Traveling Man. And just a few years ago, I had the opportunity to take my first cruise ever on board one of Carnival's Fantasy Class of Ships. Now the Fantasy Class of Ships were the oldest and smallest ships in Carnival's fleet. And specifically, I was sailing on board the Carnival Sensation. She debuted all the way back in 1993. Sailed millions and millions of people. Uh, all around the Caribbean and other parts of the world throughout her almost 30 years in service. However, when I boarded the ship on February 29th, 2020, uh, unbeknownst to me and all the other passengers that were there, we would be on the third to last sailing ever of the Carnival Sensation. As I said, I boarded the ship on February 29th and debarked the ship on March the 5th, and it was only a week later that the cruising shutdown started. And when the cruising shutdown finally ended over a year and a half later, unfortunately the Carnival sensation never set sail with guests again. There were plans to. Carnival had planned to send the ship to Mobile, Alabama. She was supposed to begin sailing from that port in, I think, March or April of 2022. However, uh, in March or April of 2022, Carnival ultimately made the decision to sell the Sensation. She was then sent across the Atlantic Ocean over to Turkey, where the ship was beached and then scrapped. So, unfortunately, the Carnival Sensation is no more. However, when I made this cruise vlog, it was actually my first ever cruise vlog series on my channel. I had just started my channel a month earlier and I was so excited that it was my first cruise vlog. Had no idea that it would be what is, to my knowledge, the very last cruise vlog ever recorded on board the Carnival Sensation. So I wanted to uh, re-edit that, the whole experience, and show that to you here on the channel. I thought a lot of you might enjoy that, especially if you might have sailed on the Carnival Sensation. Maybe you're just a fan of the Carnival Fantasy class of ships because now there are only two of those remaining uh, in the entire world. So I know a lot of folks miss the Carnival Fantasy class ships and I did want to share this. The very last cruise vlog ever recorded on board the Carnival Sensation and I do hope you enjoy. I'm going to fly down to Miami to board the Carnival Sensation for a five night sailing to the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos. This will be my ninth Carnival cruise. I'm super excited to share it with you all. Please hit that like button, subscribe down below, and let's go because it's time to get this adventure started. officially on board now for just a couple of minutes. Uh, first time on a fantasy class ship, so super excited to be on the Carnival Sensation. Um, everyone flocked to the elevators. I'm actually gonna take the stairs up to the Lido and uh, grab some lunch, so it's definitely the uh, the number one place to be on embarkation day, go straight to Lido. Um, probably gonna get a guy's burger. <laughs> It's very gaudy, it looks like the inside of a shopping mall, but um, it's going to be exciting to uh, have five days to explore a brand new class of ship I've not been on before. Uh, there are a lot of similarities between the Conquest and Vista classes, so when you sell those ships, you know, you sort of get the layout, so everything feels very familiar when you sell those, so it'll be fun to uh, have a different experience uh, for the next five days aboard the Carnival Sensation. This is the 
very top deck of the ship. Uh, pretty cool. It's a neat little mini golf section. They also have some uh, pool tables there also. Uh, and a little walking track. But very colorful up here. Very windy. But a great view of Miami from up here. So that's cool. And if we pan around here a little bit, you can see... Uh, down cruise ship row there. There's quite a few more ships in the port of Miami today So we'll pan all the way around so just down there you have the symphony of the seas all the way down. They're pretty wide uh, Just up from that Sun Norwegian escape directly in front of the sensation here is the Disney magic and then behind us We have the carnival conquest and behind that is I think another Norwegian ship maybe but um, This is all part of Miami's cruise row. This is a Saturday in, uh, at the very end of February, so um, Saturday and Sunday tend to be the busiest days for the Port of Miami. So not unusual to get um, uh, if you're here on either of those days to see quite a few cruise ships lined up uh, on taking new passengers to take to the Caribbean. One of the cool things about a lot of the Carnival ships uh, appears both on the Fantasy class, also on the Conquest and Vista class. They have these, uh, what a lot of folks refer to as secret decks. They're just decks all the way forward on the ship that you can come out and have a great view of the front, uh, sweeping uh, views across the front of the ship. So make your way all the way forward, look for doors, ways to get outside. You'll find those not so secret, secret decks. Uh, it's a great view. It's one of my favorite views on the ship. Uh, nothing beats the aft view at the very back of the ship, but this is a second to that. So definitely check this out if you're on a carnival ship or any ship. I think, you know, most cruise lines have areas like this where you can make your way out to the front uh, and get a just a panoramic view of the ocean and the port and all that's going on around you. So the Carnival Sensation is the third in the fantasy class of carnival ships. It actually debuted in 1993, so it's a pretty old ship. Uh, there's the fantasy and the ecstasy older than that right now in the family of carnival ships and the fantasy may be soon going away uh, after 2021 so a uh, pretty old ship but still looks pretty good kept to that carnival standard of fun so there's two elevators here one on this side one on this side you can go down uh, I try to make it a goal of mine when I'm on a cruise ship not to take the Elevator as much as possible so that way I can work off all the calories from all the food Well, it looks like the spa is on this deck. This is deck 12. It's the sports deck So the salon the spa are both here. Okay, so because this is the veranda deck all the cabins on this Deck start with the letter V so the one whatever one important thing to note on embarkation day is um as this sign says here, staterooms are available after 1.30. So unless you have some priority platinum, diamond status, uh, please wait until after 1.30 because there's still cleaning rooms uh, and you can't enter. Now we're on the landing for deck eight. So this is into the atrium. And then you have the bank of elevators here and the Fantasia lounge on this level. So you can see here all the entertainment that's expected uh, for tonight. Well, actually throughout the cruise. Uh, so a gender showdown tonight and a welcome aboard show and then uh, there's the full itinerary there Half Moon Key, Grand Turk, Fun Day at Sea, and Nassau but to note there the Hasbro the game show love and marriage show will definitely be the uh, highlights of this cruise so let's go check out the the lounge real quick see what it's like oh here's also a fun shop again I'm used to the conquest class so these it's like a surprise every turn for me like I'm sorry conquest and vista class but these ships are definitely laid out different from those so oh this is the lounge here pretty cool very quiet um, looks quite spacious a lot better than the liquid lounge on vista class ships I will say that um, very cool Lots of seating, a uh, two-level lounge here on the Carnival Sensation. So now I'm on a different deck. I'm sorry, I don't know what the name of this deck is. It's the casino deck, though, because it's where the casino is. Um, here, I'm about mid-shift. There's also the Carnival Adventure Shop. This is a newer shop that a lot of the Carnival 
ships have. It's usually in with the cherry on top candy shop, but it's where you can go in and buy little things you can take on your excursion. They got fins in there and um, water type clothing, like these little water shirts here, um, bags, water shoes, all sorts of things you can take with you on your carnival adventure. Here's a casino bar. Right now it's embarkation day uh, from noon to 2 p.m. They have happy hour and they're having that right now so you can get half price drinks there. So uh, not that many people here taking advantage of that, but that's a pretty good deal. So just panning around a lot of seating area here. Good place to come hang out by the casino. Um, again, here mid shift. This is just back from the atrium. You can see right there uh, is entering into the atrium area. And then a look out the window shows we are right by the cruise terminal. Miami, oh Miami there in the background. Finally into my room. I'm in room M56 here on the Carnival Sensation. This is on the main deck of the ship, which is technically the fifth deck. Um, I do have an ocean view room. Actually looking out that window now while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, this is my first time having an ocean view and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is my first fantasy class ship that I've been on with Carnival and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, only been on a few hours, but Walking around the ship, getting to see a lot of the stuff. Um, it's really cool. It's almost like the first cruise experience to be on a new class of ship to just figure out where everything is. So I'm really enjoying that aspect of the cruise. The room itself, though, is is nice. Uh, it's it's what I've come to expect from Carnival and the uh, when I've sailed previously on their ships on the Conquest and Vista class. So no complaints there. One other thing I did want to mention: uh, the screening process for. Uh, getting on the ship the health questionnaire uh, right now there is the coronavirus scare going on um, I did my check-in at the airport they handed me a health questionnaire the questions were uh, you know have you been to various regions in China in the past 14 days have you traveled through any airports or visited Italy Iran uh, other countries it named um, so it's pretty much like the standard carnival health questionnaire that they give you before any cruise but it had more relatable questions to the coronavirus this is an ocean view room uh, it does look like it sleeps about four people uh, in addition to the bed here that does make two twin beds or it's actually two twin beds that make a king size bed there are the bunk beds here on the wall as well um, so quite a bit of storage in this room if you are using it for just uh, two people. Um, the carpeting in this room has been redone um, recently. In the past couple years, it does have that newer blue carpet that Carnival is using. You can pull back the curtain here and see that you have a great view of the ocean. This is on deck five, uh, the main deck, which is just a couple decks up above the water level. So um, a pretty good view out the window, pretty excited about that pretty standard carnival bathroom uh, you know your towels and uh, over here is the shower with the lovely shampoo and body wash um, which I'm sure we all love to use when we come on a carnival cruise um, so it's same same size as as most all carnival ships All I can say so far is wow uh, from the boat ride over and just the first views this place is amazing let me know if you've been here before let me know down in the comments what you thought of Half Moon Key and if you've not been here before then I suggest you head on over to Carnival and book a cruise that visits here because this is pretty cool day three of our carnival sensation cruise vlog series today we are going to be in grand turk 
Uh, it's currently just before 8 a.m. and we are still selling there. We're expected to arrive around 12.30 this afternoon, I think. Leaving Grand Turk. You see the port over there to the right. We are backing up and headed back north through the Bahamas. Uh, fun day at sea tomorrow, followed by Nassau. And today we're in everyone's favorite port, Nassau. So maybe that's not true, but um, yeah, it's a beautiful day here. There's a lot of ships in port. Uh, so a lot of people, uh, in fact, we were supposed to be here until five and the captain came on yesterday and said because of all the traffic that's expected this afternoon here, that they're extending our stay by one hour. This is it, our final look at the sensation. 